Hey guys, Mr. Gibson here. So for this assignment, uh, you are still kind of in the introductory phase of Unit 5. This is another engage activity. And this one is a hook. So this is designed just to get you thinking, maybe get you a little bit intrigued and interested in some of the things that we're going to learn about photosynthesis and cellular respiration. And specifically, this assignment is designed to show you the relationship between those two processes. How photosynthesis and cellular respiration are related. So to begin, you're going to go to the Gizmo website, which is right here. Okay, you're going to log in and you're going to launch the Cell Energy Cycle Gizmo, which looks like this right here. So you're going to launch this. And this is what it's going to look like. you got three tabs, photosynthesis, respiration, and cycle. And then over here, you've got all four molecules that will be involved with this gizmo. Now, this is not a full gizmo activity. Usually those gizmos last a couple of days. I've shortened this to hopefully it takes no longer than, you know, maybe 10 or 15 minutes, especially if you watch this video where I'm going to go over the, uh, the prior knowledge and warm up questions with you. Okay. So, uh, once you've got that launched, you are going to open up this Google doc and let's go ahead and take a look at this together. So some prior knowledge questions here. It says, what does a plant need to survive and grow? So you may have some things, you know, uh, maybe, you know, fertilizer is helpful for plants, healthy soil, sunlight, water. Okay. Some things that, you know, coming in that plants need to survive and grow. Uh, what does an animal need to survive and grow? Well, think, what do you need to survive and grow? You probably need some food, right? Probably need some oxygen. Can't go too long without oxygen if you're trying to survive and grow, right? So how do animals and plants depend on each other? And again, whatever you put there is okay because this is just prior knowledge. This is not assessing something you've already learned. Uh, this is just seeing what you already think. Okay, so answer those. Basically, you can put whatever you want there. Um, and then for the gizmo warm-up, it says the, giz the cell energy cycle gizmo illustrates two processes, processes that are essential to life, photosynthesis and cellular respiration. So although both of these processes involve a series of complex steps, and we'll get into those steps a little bit later, but not today, the inputs and outputs of each process are four pretty simple molecules, and you've seen all four of these before in the last unit. So it says, what is the chemical formula for oxygen? Well, oxygen is right here. Chemical formula for oxygen is simply O2, okay? Glucose is a simple sugar. Remember, we talked about how that's a carbohydrate. What is the chemical formula for glucose? Again, we've got that right here. The chemical formula for glucose is C6H12O6. So six atoms of carbon, 12 atoms of hydrogen, six atoms of oxygen. Number three, what is the chemical formula for carbon dioxide? You can see that right here, CO2. And what is the chemical formula for water? And here we've got H2O, water. All right, so you're only going to do these two pages here, and they're pretty straightforward. The first thing you're going to do is, um, well, you're going to go over to the gizmo, and you're going to click the cycle tab, and really we're going to focus on uh, how photosynthesis and cellular respiration cycle energy and, uh, and molecules. They don't really cycle energy, but more so cycle molecules between each other. Okay, And so through this, you're going to learn the inputs of cellular respiration, and the outputs of cellular respiration. You're going to learn the inputs of photosynthesis and the outputs of photosynthesis. And that's really the basics that you're that I'm trying to introduce to you through this activity. Okay, so you're going to make a hypothesis here about how photosynthesis is related to cellular respiration. Again, that's a hypothesis. That's a prediction. That's just something you you may have an answer that, or something you think is the right answer going into this that you find out is wrong. And that's totally okay. We do that in science all the time. So whatever your hypothesis is, is okay. Okay. Then you're going to make some predictions here about what the red arrows mean. And then you're going to figure out the inputs and outputs of each of the two processes, compare them. And then there's a little bit of review, a summary, and a little bit of discussion. Okay. Um, so if you guys need any help with this, again, I, this is not designed to be super difficult. This is not designed to take a long time. This is simply an introduction activity to get you thinking about the inputs and outputs of photosynthesis, cellular respiration, and how they are related to each other. So if you need help at all, feel free to email me. Good luck, guys.